Capricornus. Capricornus is one of the constellations of the zodiac. Its name is Latin for horned goat or goat horn or having horns like a goat's, and it is commonly represented in the form of a sea goat, a mythical creature that is half goat, half fish. Its symbol is, unicode, Capricorn. Capricornus is one of the 88 modern constellations, and was also one of the 48 constellations listed by the 2nd century astronomer Ptolemy. Under its modern boundaries, it is bordered by Aquila, Sagittarius, Microscopium, P.C. Sostrinus, and Aquarius. The constellation is located in an area of sky called the Sea or the Water, consisting of many water related constellations such as Aquarius, Pisces, and Eridanus. It is the smallest constellation in the zodiac. Capricornus is a faint constellation, with only one star above magnitude 3, its alpha star has a magnitude of only 3.6. The brightest star in Capricornus is Delta Capricorni, also called Deneb al Gidi, with a magnitude of 2.9, 39 light years from Earth. Like several other stars such as Dinbola and Deneb, it is named for the Arabic word for tail, Deneb, its traditional name means the tail of the goat. Deneb al Gidi is a Beta Lyrae variable star a type of eclipsing binary. It ranges by about 0.2 magnitudes with a period of 24.5 hours. The other bright stars in Capricornus range in magnitude from 3.1 to 5.1. Alpha Capricorni is a multiple star also known as Algidi or Gedi. The primary, Alpha Cap, 109 light years from Earth, is a yellow hue giant star of magnitude 3.6. The secondary, Alpha Cap, 690 light years from Earth, is a yellow-hued supergiant star of magnitude 4.3. The two stars are distinguishable by the naked eye, and both are themselves multiple stars. Alpha Capricorni is accompanied by a star of magnitude 9.2. Alpha Capricornus is accompanied by a star of magnitude 11.0. This faint star is itself a binary star with two components of magnitude 11. The traditional names of Alpha Capricorni come from the Arabic word for the kid, which references the constellation's mythology. Beta Capricorni is a double star also known as Dabi. It is a yellow hue giant star of magnitude 3.1, 340 light years from Earth. The secondary is a blue white hued star of magnitude 6.1. The two stars are distinguishable in binoculars. Beta Capricorni's traditional name comes from the Arabic phrase for the lucky stars of the slaughterer, a reference to ritual sacrifices performed by ancient Arabs at the heliacal rising of Capricornus. Another star visible to the naked eye is Gamma Capricorni, sometimes called Nashira, bringing good tidings. It is a white hue giant star of magnitude 3.7, 139 light years from Earth. Pi Capricorni is a double star with a blue-white hued primary of magnitude 5.1 and a white hued secondary of magnitude 8.3. It is 670 light years from Earth and the components are distinguishable in a small telescope. Several galaxies and star clusters are contained within Capricornus. Messier 30 is a globular cluster located 1 degree south of the galaxy group NGC 7103. The constellation also harbors the wide spiral galaxy NGC 6907. M30, NGC 7099, is a centrally condensed globular cluster of magnitude 7.5. At a distance of 30,000 light years, it has chains of stars extending to the north that are resolvable in small amateur telescopes. One galaxy group located in Capricornus is HCG87, a group of at least three galaxies located 400 million light years from Earth, redshift 0.0296. It contains a large elliptical galaxy, a face on spiral galaxy, and an edge on spiral galaxy. The face on spiral galaxy is experiencing abnormally high rates of star formation, indicating that it is interacting with one or both members of the group. Furthermore, the large elliptical galaxy and the edge on spiral galaxy, both of which have active nuclei, are connected by a stream of stars and dust, indicating that they too are interacting. Astronomers predict that the three galaxies may merge millions of years in the future to form a giant elliptical galaxy. Despite its faintness, Capricornus has one of the oldest mythological associations, having been consistently represented as a hybrid of a goat and a fish since the Middle Bronze Age. First attested in depictions on a cylinder seal from around the 21st century BC, it was explicitly recorded in the Babylonian star catalog Ace as the goatfish before 1000 BC. The constellation was a symbol of the god Ea and in the early Bronze Age marked the winter solstice. In Greek mythology, the constellation is sometimes identified as Amalthea, 
the goat that suckled the infant Zeus after his mother, Rhea, saved him from being devoured by his father, Kronos. The goat's broken horn was transformed into the cornucopia or horn of plenty. According to some ancient Greek myths, it started with the sea goat Perkis. He was the father of the race of sea goats, half goats half fish, who were intelligent and honorable creatures. They lived in the sea near the shore. They could speak and think according to Greek legend. They were favored by the gods. Perkis is tied to Kronos, Greek mythology, the god of time. Kronos created the immortal Perkis, who shares Kronos' ability to manipulate time. He had lots of children who lived near the seashore, however, when they found themselves on the dry land they turned into normal goats, losing their special ability to think and speak in the process. In an effort to prevent this Perkis turns back time, again and again, however, he eventually resigns himself to loneliness and misery, letting the little sea goats leave him. Learning he cannot control their fate and not wanting to be the only sea goat prompts him to ask Kronos to let him die. Because he is immortal instead he must spend eternity in the sky as Capricorn. Capricorn is also sometimes identified as Pan, the god with a goat's head, who saved himself from the monster Typhon by giving himself a fish's tail and diving into a river. Due to the procession of the equinoxes, the December solstice no longer takes place while the sun is in the constellation Capricornus, as it did until 130 BCE, but the astrological sign called Capricorn begins with the solstice. The solstice now takes place when the sun is in the constellation, not the sign, of Sagittarius. The sun's most southerly position, which is attained at the northern hemisphere's winter solstice, is now called the Tropic of Capricorn a term which also applies to the line on the earth at which the sun is directly overhead at noon on its solstice. The sun is now in Capricorn from late January through mid-February. The planet Neptune was discovered by German astronomer Johann Gall, near Denebalgidi, Delta Capricorni, on September 23, 1846, which is appropriate as Capricornus can be seen best from Europe at 4 a.m. in September, although, by modern constellation boundaries established in the early 20th century, Neptune lay within the confines of Aquarius at the time of its discovery. Capricornus's brighter stars are found on a triangle whose vertices are Alpha Capricorni, Gaiti, Delta Capricorni, Denebal Gaiti, and Omega Capricorni. Ptolemy's method of connecting the stars of Capricornus has been influential. Capricornus is usually drawn as a goat with the tail of a fish. H. A. Ray has suggested an alternative visualization, which graphically shows a goat. The goat's head is formed by the triangle of stars Iota Cap, Theta Cap, and Zeta Cap. The goat's horn sticks out with stars Gamma Cap and Delta Cap. Star Delta Cap, at the tip of the horn, is of the third magnitude. The goat's tail consists of stars Beta Cap and Alpha Cap, star Beta Cap being of the third magnitude. The goat's hind foot consists of stars Psi Cap and Omega Cap. Both of these stars are of the fourth magnitude. In Chinese astronomy, Constellation Capricornus lies in the black tortoise of the north, Beifang Zhuangwu. The Nok peoples call this constellation roofing towers. In the Society Islands, the figure of Capricornus was called Rua Omir, cavern of parental yearnings. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.